thank the most high for taking the things of the world off of my shoulders. Thank you, Father. Love. Oh, oh, oh. I rise up and sing. Hi, and welcome back to Disciple of Y'all channel. My name is Vanessa. I am the wife of Stephen. So if you are new to this channel, um, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for more word that the Most High Y'all gives my husband. I come on here from time to time when I have a prophetic word, a prophetic vision, a dream, and I just feel led to share it with the people. Before I get into the video, I would like to start off with a prayer. Abba Yahuwah, thank you so much for the opportunity um, to be a willing vessel, to be able to share what you have shown me in a dream. Father, I pray right now that those who have an ear, let them hear. In the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach, I pray right now that those who are listening receive a revelation or that it's like a puzzle piece to something that you have already confirmed for them or something that you have already been showing them. I am just a willing vessel being obedient, sharing what you have shown to me because we are many members in one body. So I am just one little piece of the puzzle and I glorify you in advance and I magnify you. In the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach, hallelujah. I want to share with you guys the dream that I had two days ago. I want to get the exact date. I want to say it was April 5th. But let me get the exact date that I had the dream because I did do a voice note in my phone. Today is Cosmos Day, but today is April 6th. Today is the 7th. So that wasn't when I woke up this morning. That was the morning of the 6th. So yeah, that was yesterday morning. <laughs> so yesterday morning, April 6th, I had a dream. And I didn't have the dream in the middle of the night. I actually had the dream in the morning. Like when I woke up, I had just had the dream. So that's how I was able to like get my phone and I was able to start recording. In the dream, I basically dreamed of the moon. And... I was standing outside and it was dark and I looked up and I could see the moon very bright and it was something that was supposed to connect with the moon. I could not see it specifically what it was but I just knew within my Rurok of the dream that something is supposed to connect and that thing that was supposed to connect with the moon basically like it was supposed to cover the moon. So that thing that was supposed to cover the moon, it was it did not go according to like plan. So it was supposed to automatically happen. It was supposed to like cover the moon, but it didn't. So when it didn't happen, this black reptilian being, which huge, it had a long tail and it was about four to maybe six of them. One of them you could see the thing that was supposed to connect to the moon and he grabbed it. He like went from standing and he just shot up and started flying. Now, mind you, I didn't see any wings, so I don't know how he was flying. But he shot up and he started flying towards the thing. He, he grabbed it and then he darted towards the moon. And then the rest of the really, really black, I'm talking about black, almost like black shadow type beings. That's how black they were. Um, so they shot up, one grabbed it, he had it in his hand, and I noticed that they were not focused on anything else but completing the mission to get the thing that was supposed to be aligned with the moon, but it didn't, it wasn't automatically, so they had to actually, like, go and actually align it, right? So he, he got it, he was holding it in his hand, I still couldn't see specifically what it was, so he got to the moon, he like put it there and it was still like some light shining out. And then that's when he took his body, he wrapped his body around the moon and all the rest of the little black, super black repti reptilian creatures wrapped themselves around the moon and the moon was completely covered. It was completely dark. 
no light at all. It was completely dark. I'm still recording. So, um, my husband just came home, so y'all will hear him in the background, and that's okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, they wrapped themselves around the moon. Um, huh? Oh. They wrapped themselves around the moon, so the moon was completely dark. Like, it was completely dark. The only thing that was given off light was this, to my left-hand side, it was like this big ball, like an explosion. And it was just like this fiery dark thing that just came out of the sky and then it just exploded to the right hand side of me like in this lake. I looked down and I noticed I was standing on a bridge. There was like a hole in the bridge. Now this part is a little vague, but to the best of my remembrance, there was like a hole in the, the bridge. And it's like I can see like through the bridge, the water. And um, like a few things that I had noticed. Number one, the reptilian things were very, very focused on their mission. They were not paying attention to the little fiery explosion on the right hand side. I mean, on the left hand side, they had shot out something and then blew up something over here. They were not paying attention to me. They couldn't even see me. Um, another thing that I noticed is there was no sound in my dream. Like, Normally, you hear like sounds in your dream. I couldn't hear anything. When the explosion happened, I didn't hear it. It, it was like mute in a sense. Like you couldn't, I couldn't hear nothing. And um, so, like I said, it exploded. I saw it, but I couldn't hear it. Um, they were not paying me any mind. They, I don't even, I don't, they didn't even see me. I was standing behind them and I saw everything. It almost reminded me of like, you know how you watch a movie? And somebody is like, uh, uh, like let's say somebody is like uh, in the hospital, right, in the movie. And they're like, oh, um, their guardian angel comes and takes them back and show them certain events in their life. And it's like they can't control the narrative. So they cannot talk to anybody. Um, they can hear. But in my dream, I was able to hear like the things that were happening. I was seeing everything. But I felt like somebody was like showing me. So I felt like I wasn't physically there in the dream, like in the dream, like in that particular dream. Like I didn't feel like I was there in the dream. Um, another thing that I noticed is I had no fear. Those things were happening around me. I did think to myself, though, I had a thought like, oh, my goodness, I'm not home. Like I need to get home. Like I was thinking about getting home, but it wasn't like a fear. Things were happening around me, but I had no fear. Like I had no fear in the dream and then when i woke up i still didn't have fear you know certain dreams you wake up and you just like oh my goodness like in like this panic or you're just kind of like worried or the dream just really kind of like you know have you kind of like in fear a little not necessarily in fear but it just kind of has you on alert you know or whatever it just kind of you just wake up and you start to feel the emotions of what you were feeling in the dream if something scared you you usually wake up and you kind of have that same feeling but when i woke up because i didn't have fear in the dream i woke up without being fearful it's, it's like when i woke up i was just like grateful i just had like this spirit of gratefulness that the most high showed me what he showed me and I felt protected. Like, immediately, I began to think about Psalms 91. So, I'm going to read Psalms 91. And y'all know the scripture. But I'm going to read Psalms 91. Because this is what I felt in my Ruach. Like, I felt like the Most High was showing me, like, you might have destruction over here. You might have destruction over there. Or things may be happening to people all around you. Or something may come and happen on this earth. But... Those that are in him and walking in him um, in a, and is a part of the remnant, we will be protected. So it says, Psalms 91, and it reads, He that dwelleth in a secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Yahuwah, he is my refuge and my fortress, my Yah, and him will I trust. Surely he will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. And from the noiseless pestilence, and he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wing shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. You ain't gonna be afraid of the terror at night. And that was 
you know, somebody else had that dream, they would have been terrified. <laughs> Nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Oh, hallelujah. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold, and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made Yahuwah, which is my reference. Even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. And I and that's what I feel. I feel like he gave his angel charge over me in that dream. And I feel like the angels was there with me. Because fear wasn't there. Uh, doubt wasn't there. Confusion wasn't there. Like none of those things were there. Like I, I wasn't worried at all. Like not one little bit. Like I wasn't worried. To keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon. Shall thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to the Most High. Because I want him to know my name. Hallelujah. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. What such a beautiful love letter the Most High Yah has written us. Like, oh, just beautiful. Because it's, it's, that really is a love letter to, from the Most High Yah to his children. To the ones that abide in a secret place. Those that dwell in a secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. So, I originally wasn't going to come and share this dream. Because normally when I have a dream and I feel like, like with my last dream, when it came to um, the staph infection plague that the Most High Yah says there's going to be a plague coming, that one was a fire and a burning in my soul. And I was like, I got to get this out. This one, um, I think the Most High Yah wanted me to, you know, just see this and because... You know, everybody's talking about, you know, the eclipse and things of that nature. And my husband, my head, my king, <laughs> he um, he definitely gets deep, deep, deep in studying. And um, that's an area that the Most High Yah is allowing me to grow in. And I am giving myself grace. And I understand that, you know, what the Most High Yah has called for other people, it may not, it may not be the same path he uses me in a different way so he doesn't use me in the same way that he uses my husband um and that's okay and i'm still you know powerful and i still hear from him and he still gives me visions and i know that i'm still an important vessel to the kingdom of you know the most high yah um i'm just saying all this because sometimes i can get in my head and be like maybe i'm not doing enough or maybe i should be kind of doing what you're doing or you know Am I supposed to be hearing from him like every week that how you hear from him? And I have to realize like I can't compare myself to my husband or anybody else for that matter. And, you know, so anyways, I don't want to get off topic. But yeah, so the reason that I wasn't going to share it because like I said, I didn't feel that fire at first. You know, like, oh, let me share it. But then I just had a random thought like you should share this video. And so I asked my husband, I was like, babe. Do you think I should record a video sharing my dream on your on our channel, his channel, our channel? <laughs> Do you think I should record sharing my dream on the Disciple of Y'all YouTube channel? And he was like, yeah. I think you should because at the end of the day i do feel like um me sharing it will be like um because i felt that in my spirit when i was praying i would i just I, st I, I saw a puzzle that was a vision that i had i saw a puzzle hallelujah i saw a puzzle as i was praying and it was kind of like i brought this missing piece to somebody out there that the most high yah has already shown either this 
exact dream or maybe similar dream and this is the missing puzzle piece to what he has shown you and shown probably more than just one to two people he probably showed a lot of people so i don't want to you know have a dream where you know this is a, a key piece of information and i'm not opening up my mouth and being the willing vessel that um i am <laughs> um and i don't want to grieve the the ruach Hakas, the ruach hakadesh i don't want to grieve the ruach hakadesh by being you know disobedient or you know being a uh what they call it uh, a gatekeeper of information or dreams or visions that he gives me so take that dream with you um in prayer to the most high yah and you know just you know just take it in prayer to the most high yah but i just wanted to come through and just share my dream with you guys um I just let you guys know about that dream. And, um, you know, a part of me started to feel like maybe this dream is showing me something relative to the three days of darkness. I'm not quite sure because the Most High Yah, he didn't, you know, say anything to me in a dream about the last one. About the last one, he was speaking and he actually told me. This one was completely silent, mute, almost like a deaf person in a sense. Like, if you if you are a hearing person, then, of course, you don't know what a deaf person what even i but like on movies and stuff they'll like completely take the sound off and the person is just looking around and they can see people mouth moving and stuff like that that's how i felt in the dream like completely like no sound not even like hearing the waves of the water because like i said i was on the bridge where you could hear water when the the little fiery thing hit the water i, I saw it go into the water but i could not hear the water at all so I'm not quite sure what the significance of me seeing but not being able to hear. Um, and that's something that I'll take back to the most high as well because that is kind of like very something that stands out to me. Like I was able to see but I couldn't hear. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, I just wanted to come through and bring my dream to you guys and um, share that with you guys. But anyways, I will see you guys whenever I have another dream that I feel is important to share or if I have a vision or a prophetic message from the Most High Yah. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful evening and a blessed, 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 blessed rest of your day. And we, um, my husband and I are getting ready to celebrate some of the feasts. Well, not some, but all that, that is coming up. Um, so I hope you guys are getting prepared to have your unleavened bread. I'm excited about um making it for the first time so pray for me <laughs> i hope it come out right i think it will but anyways i'll see you guys when i see you guys have a blessed day